Hamburgers, cheeseburgers, big names, big chains, one-offs, great burgers, great fries, over-the-top milkshakes, and all of it on the Las Vegas Strip. It's National Hamburger Month, and we are going out for burgers. So get ready, because this adventure starts right now. Oh boy, do we have a lot of ground to cover on this one, so let's jump right in and get started. First stop, Planet Hollywood. Follow those neon tracks, our lunch awaits inside. And here we are, and we didn't even need to step into the casino. The flames in the window are a signature at this, the very first Gordon Ramsay Burger restaurant. It opened in December 2012, so they are just recently celebrating 10 years here at Planet Hollywood. And truthfully, it is just a few steps from the casino. Well, good morning, everyone. It is, in fact, morning. I am at Gordon Ramsay Burger at Planet Hollywood, and I wanted to get here right when they opened. You know me. I want to get the place empty if I can and make everything perfect and pristine for you to see it. So they opened at 10. It is Friday morning and here I am. I haven't had breakfast. I guess I'm having a burger for breakfast and let's see how it stacks up with all the other ones that we are reviewing today. Between his Michelin stars and his forceful TV personality, Chef Gordon Ramsay is a household name and nowhere more so than here in Las Vegas where he's got a half a dozen venues up and down the strip. This place though, it's all about burgers, the go-to destination for burger lovers. In his own words, Gordon Ramsay Burger highlights our signature burger, which blends different cuts of beef, creating a really powerful flavor that our guests love. The burgers are basted with butter, and everything is made from scratch from the finest ingredients. They promise a perfect burger for every palate. There's an open kitchen, and Paula had a front row seat as those burgers started coming off the grill. All right, friends, are you ready for this? It's a back yard burger. I imagine it's called that because it has fresh tomato, pickle, red onion, and butter lettuce, plus American cheese. I ordered it medium. There was a lot of fanfare when they set it down, and of course they knew I was going to take a picture of it because it is so flipping gorgeous. So let me cut it in half so I can show you what it looks like inside. I actually need a steak knife maybe. Or maybe not. Wow, this is a buttery bun with sesame seeds. What do you think? Oh my goodness, it's a big mess. Let me take a bite. The bun is probably one of the best I've ever tasted. The meat and cheese are superb. That meat is so tender and moist. Wow. I might have to rate that the top in terms of the taste of the meat. That is absolutely fantastically delicious. What a sandwich. Wow. One more bite. Beautifully seasoned. Wow, and I, I don't know, the red onion is not one of those harsh ones. It tastes kind of sweet. Everything that's on here, the pickles, this is an absolute winner. Now, the backyard burger comes a la carte, and then your fries also are a la carte, so regular fries are 10 bucks. Um, I hate to do that since it's just me, Dale's not with me, but I also like a fry with my burgers, so there's two different kinds of homemade ketchup. Chipotle ketchup and curry ketchup. I'll try the chipotle. Ooh, that's good. I'm a big fan of that. That's really good. Mmm. Good fries. 
cotton soft inside, crispy on the outside, nothing soggy about them. They're very good. They also have truffle fries and sweet potato fries, FYI. All right, let me try a different, let's try the curry. I have to say, I don't eat a lot of curry, so I'm not sure what this will taste like. Let's try. Oh, that's good too. You know Brits love their curry, so I would expect Gordon Ramsay to take advantage of that. That's really good. All right, assessment time. I finished half the burger. It is such a huge burger. I don't think I'm gonna finish the other half. And I didn't eat a lot of the fries. Fries are fries, I am here for the burger. So let me report back. Honestly, this was one of the best hamburgers I ever ate. And I figured out what it was that made it different. There is a sweetness to it that I absolutely loved. These pickles are sweet, not dill. The butter lettuce, of course, has a sweetness to us in, in any way. The bun has a sweetness to it. And maybe it's a butter top, I'm not sure, but delicious bun. And the meat is such excellent quality. It melts in your mouth. The whole entire package comes out just with this sweet touch that elevates it to one of the best burgers I have ever had. Not cheap and you're gonna you won't even believe it's like 10 30 in the morning you won't believe how packed this place is now that they've been open for a half hour and they are just pumping out the burgers out of that kitchen i'm telling you they're doing it right at gordon ramsay burger big thumbs up About a mile or so north from Planet Hollywood is the magnificent Venetian, where we're going to continue our burger adventure. Our destination just happens to have a patio overlooking the canal and all these superb architectural details. It's called Black Tap. The name comes from the Black Tap handles you'll find in craft beer bars, and in here they're passionate about craft beers, mainstay classics, and their own limited edition brews. Hello friends, we are at Black Tap at the Venetian on our hunt for the best burger on the Strip. We both just placed our order and as a bonus, I had to get one of their famous milkshakes. I got the Vegas Golden Knights. I cannot wait to see it and show it to you. Black Tap opened here in 2018, the first location outside of New York City. This mural by New York street artist Fumero is one of three commissioned for the space. Black Tap Vegas is home to the very first standalone Crazy Shake Bar. The concept was originally introduced back in 2015. The idea of starting with a classic milkshake and then taking it over the top. And guess what? The people went crazy for them. They also do limited edition and local creations just like this one. Yes, that's a chocolate cupcake you see hanging off the side. <laughs> and yes, it all starts to fall apart real, real fast. Let's check out that patio we mentioned earlier. The Black Tap patio is spacious and uncrowded with seating for just 52. But what a location to enjoy lunch or dinner al fresco. Speaking of which, the burgers. They are griddled, not grilled, only flipped once and served on a potato roll. Ha! <laughs> All I can say is bring it on. This is the Wagyu burger. It has, uh, in fact, this is an award-winning burger I read about, and we'll probably put all that stuff down because I don't remember everything that's on it. But it's got, of course, Wagyu beef. It's me cooked medium. It's got cheese. I think it's pepper jack uh, cheese. Uh, some kind of uh, onion uh, strings on top of that. A1 sauce, and I got a side of fries. I can't wait to bite into it. I don't know how I'm going to eat it, but I mean, when I take my first bite, you're going to get a you're going to get a video of it. I guarantee. Yeah. All right, look at that. That is medium. I'm telling you, <laughs> I cheated a little bit. I had to cut it because I couldn't pick the whole thing up. Get ready here. Oh, it also has bacon on it. Oh. Oh. That is amazing. Oh, you know what? That A1 sauce on top of the onion rings just really sets it off. The beef is amazing, absolutely amazing. This Wagyu, as you know, 
It's not your regular kind of hamburger. It's just real special. Cost 25 bucks, but I'll tell you what, well worth it. Let me take one more. So I didn't do anything super fancy. Since we're doing a comparison, I got the All-American Burger, which is their basic beef cheeseburger. But again, it's award-winning, so I'm looking forward to this. We have been a black cap in a long, long time, so I'm kind of excited to give this a try. It's got the usual suspects, and I've got, you know what else is really, really a big plus? Look at that. Such a fan of big pickles. So I'm not going to put anything on it. I'm just going to take a bite of the cheeseburger, and I'm going to let you know what I think. It came with their, quote, special sauce. Not sure I'm a big special sauce fan. So let's just do the burger with just cheese. Moist. Flavorful, cooked just right. Oh, just right. That's a good burger. Really good burger. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and put my lettuce and tomato and a slice of pickle on there, and I am going to really enjoy this. Plus, I'm a big fan of sweet potato fries. I got myself those. Love these as well. Can you see this? I, tr I really tried to eat all the stuffings that was on top of the burger, but I just couldn't get through it. But I ate that meat. Oh, my gosh. It was so, so good. French fries were terrific. Let me tell you something else. The p folks that work here, A1. Really, really nice. Moving on in our quest for the best burger on the Strip, we're off to the Link Promenade along with everybody else today. We've said it before, but this pedestrian mall is one of the best things to happen to the Strip, and get this, it's celebrating its 10th anniversary this year. Our destination is in the middle, just the other side of the fountain, California's finest in and out burger. The Link Promenade location of in and out opened in 2017 to instant success. The chain is family-owned, never franchised, and has the most loyal customer base you will ever find for a burger joint. Plus, we understand the pay scale is generous, which of course helps to retain the best employees. Look at the lineup back there in the kitchen, and not one of them has a spot on their shirt or their apron. When I said loyal, I meant it. This place is packed. Of course, it's Saturday afternoon, and the posted price on the burgers makes you want to cheer. What a deal! The dining room features a bright, clean red and white color scheme and has table seating for 150 But today, we're on overload in here. Did I hear my name? Huh, order up! Whose bright idea was this to do it on a Saturday afternoon? Are we nuts? We're nuts. Anyway, we're at the link. We're at In-N-Out Burger, which has to be on any list of best burgers on the Las Vegas Strip. I got myself a cheeseburger, pretty much how it comes. Dale got a hamburger. Uh, we don't do the Thousand Island sauce, so we got everything else, though. And we're sharing a fry. So whew, let's get ready and do some tasting, Mr. Dale. So Dale says I get to be first. Let me just say what I love about In-N-Out is that you get the wax paper wrap on the sandwich so it doesn't get all over your hands. But this is a really big cheeseburger. Forgive me. <laughs> Super fresh. They do not freeze their meat. Really, really, really good. Mm, more, one more. That's a good burger. All right, my friends. <laughs> That's the gush. We have lived in Las Vegas forever, and I've never tried an In-N-Out burger. This is my first time, and of course I had to come down to the strip to do it, but let's give it a shot. Yes, 20, 27, and 26, please. Mmm. Very good. Ooh, very fresh onion. I love the bun as well. Mmm, very good. All right, we just left In-N-Out Burger. Paula, what'd you think? 
Well, in your own words, Dale, it's a burger. It's yeah. a good burger. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a really good burger. It's, it's, it's a step above McDonald's. That's in fact a little higher than McDonald's. And everything is fresh. Yeah, good. Fresh meat, never frozen. And the buns were really good, too. And those fries are fresh cut and delivered to you right out of the basket, right? I'll tell you what, they have it down at this place. They are so efficient, it's amazing. I would say for the price, this is a really good burger. Yeah, considering less than 14 bucks on the strip for two burgers, fries, and two drinks, amazing. Now, believe it or not, we're actually going to try another place that's right down here in the same link area, right? We are. It's Burger Palooza. Moving on, Burger Palooza indeed. We've walked just two doors down to Harris Las Vegas, and thank goodness the crowds are a little lighter. Not in here, though. Good live music always draws a crowd, and the Saxman duo is attracting the attention of the passerby at the piano bar. These guys have great talent and showmanship, and next time you're in town, try to catch them. You won't be disappointed. Inside Harris, we make a beeline for the Fulton Street Food Hall. A couple of years ago in 2021, Food Network superstar Bobby Flay opened a fast food version of his Burger Palace, a concept suited to food courts and sports venues. There are three in Las Vegas and one in Yankee Stadium. Bobby's Burgers has fresh new branding and a simplified menu that, in his words, features their greatest hits. Step up to the counter and let's see what the first chef to receive a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is offering today. Lots of burgers and some with an unexpected Bobby twist. Plus, they offer breakfast and spoon-bending milkshakes. If only we weren't on our second burger of the day. This is a handful. All right, so I got the Smokehouse Burger. It has bacon, cheese, an onion ring, and barbecue sauce. Oh my goodness, it's fantastic looking and big. Take a bite. I ordered it medium. Oh, that's really good flavor. Salty. It's either the burger or the cheese. Salty, I don't know about you, but I love a salty burger. Plus it's got the bacon. All right, that is really, really a good burger. Plus, check out these amazing hand-cut fries. I love hand-cut fries like this. Mm, you know what they need. Vinegar. Vault vinegar, absolutely. Oh my gosh, those are good. Those are so good. Like Canada, really good. I got the classic burger. It's also medium, and I got extra pickles, and they're falling out all over the place. I had to cut it in half because I couldn't pick it up. So this is your regular type burger that you would get here, and you're gonna have to stop because right. this is take two. This is a mess. I'm sorry I'm a mess, but I got the classic burger. It's cooked medium. It's absolutely loaded with stuff, and I got extra pickles on it. I don't like I don't like the sauce, but I do like uh, I do like the pickles. I got the cheese and everything else. I had to cut it in half because I couldn't pick it up. And when I did, it the whole thing fell apart in my hand. All right, here we go. Oh. Wow. Wow. That is a good burger. Wow. That, wow. That, that is an unbelievable burger. The meat is perfect. The bun is as fresh as can be. I gotta try a couple of these fries. I think these are fresh cut fries too because they look like it. And uh, they actually look almost like what we just had. Oh, oh, excellent. Like Paul said, little malt vinegar <laughs> and we're doing good. All right, let's finish up our burgers and we'll tell you what we thought. Hello friends, it's us again talking about burgers. First of all, Bobby's Burgers, I have to give them a big thumbs up I love the theming and the packaging of everything that they serve. It's adorable. And they were super nice. And get this, we're in like a little food court here at Harris, and there's nobody in here. But honestly, 
this is Bobby's Burgers. <laughs> right, and yeah. we're, we're like confused. Everybody's over there at In-N-Out, hundreds of people, and you come over to Bobby's and it's quiet. There were only two people in front of us yeah. in line, and those were some fantastic quality burgers. I would say for me, as the tasting goes, and I, I've, I've tasted only one prior to this, I would say that this is probably my, my number one burger. Yeah, this is yeah. excellent. The meat quality, the bun was superb. And the french fries, yeah. And that smokehouse, I have to say, so it had the bacon, it had the onion ring, and it had the barbecue sauce. It was, I ate the whole thing, it was really good. <laughs> and, and also, I got the classic burger, and that's what I'm gonna continue to do for all these, just a regular burger, just to compare. But I'll tell you what, for being, for, for being in a food court here, and we're all by ourselves, this was really great. Yeah, I'm going to recommend, come to Harris, go to Bobby's Burgers. There's no waiting. They're super nice, and the burgers are great. Finally, after sampling four burgers on the east side of Las Vegas Boulevard, we've crossed the street. Today, we're heading for the Cosmopolitan. From the pedestrian bridge level, we enter the Cosmos second floor, where many of its most popular eateries can be found, including this one, Holstein's Shakes and Buns. I'll tell you what, I expect anything named Holstein to serve up a terrific beef burger. Hey everybody, we are at Holstein's up on the second floor of Cosmopolitan. We have been here before, but we've never rated the burgers. Today is the day. And although they have those famous, fabulous, boozy milkshakes, today I actually went for something a little bit cooler. It's called a blood orange bellini made with Prosecco. And isn't this pretty? I'm gonna have a sip. Oh, that is so yummy and refreshing on a warm spring day. All right, burgers on the way. We'll see you then. Holstein's opened right along with the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas in December of 2010. It's a homegrown enterprise from local entrepreneur Billy Richardson, and we absolutely love everything about it. Between the warm wood tones of the room and the funky bovine art, it's a place you just want to be. Plus, this life-size cow in vivid pink is just begging to star in your Instagram post. The menu is famous for what they call Big Bun Burgers, made with a specialty blend of prime beef and served on sesame brioche. This, my friends, is called the Classic Burger. It's your basic burger. I got it with some uh, um, uh, bacon and I did not get mayo on it, but it has a thing called utter sauce. And I asked what it utter sauce is. <laughs> it's homemade ketchup. <laughs> they make it right here. I'm gonna have to cut this in half because there's no way, even though I have a big mouth, there's no way I can fit this all in my mouth. So let me cut it and then I'll take a bite and we'll show you guys. <laughs> I cut it in half. Is this ridiculous? I mean, seriously, is this ridiculous? I don't know how I'm gonna put this in my mouth, but I'm gonna give it a shot right now. Wow. That is so full of flavor. Unbelievable bun. And I mean unbelievable bun. Meat is cooked perfectly. You know what I like about this? I got bacon on it. Normally, sometimes you get the bacon and it's a little bit, you know, rubbery. This is absolutely crisp. Absolutely crisp. I cannot wait <laughs> to finish this. This is one amazing burger. Now, let me give a shot to the fry. Oh, it's falling apart. I don't know if these are fresh cut fries. They look pretty good. Very good. I'll tell you how the whole thing was afterwards, but let's go check out what Paula got. This, my friends, is called the Nom Nom Burger. And when the description said it had potato chips, I thought they'd be on the side. Oh no, they're on the sandwich. It's a cheeseburger, it's got homemade potato chips, and I got a little side of their Thousand Island so I wasn't sure I'd like it on the sandwich. And of course, we're sharing these fries. I'm like Dale, I have to cut this because it's a monster. So let's see how we do. Oh, my potato chips are crunching. <laughs> 
There you go. Again, medium, just like Dale. I've got some pickles. I've got some chips. Come on. Only one way to do this, you gotta jump in. He's right. That bun is unbelievable. It's like brushed with butter, sesame seeds, incredible bun. Super, super tender, fresh, and juicy burger. One of the juiciest burgers we have had so far. The flavor is incredible. When I was a kid, I used to put potato chips on my bologna sandwiches, so I'm all about the potato chips on this. Nom Nom Burger, big thumbs up. What about the fry? Who cares about a fry? I got a big old burger. Ooh, piping hot, just the right amount of salt. That's a good fry. I changed my mind, good fry. I am full. Ask me, did I eat that whole Nom Nom Burger? Yes, I did. <laughs> so did I, I ate the classic burger. I'll tell you what, my classic burger was like twice the size of your burger. It was. Mine was actually a dollar more on the menu, but his, and I'm I'm happy with it, but yours was so tall. It was crazy. <laughs> it, it was absolutely perfectly cooked. I loved everything about it. And I'll tell you what, again, I can't say this enough. That bun was amazing. I agree. Just absolutely amazing. Thumbs up on the bun. Yeah. And also, again, I'm going to say this. The bacon was fabulous. Very crispy. And the fries were unbelievable. I'll tell you what, I got to give this place two thumbs up. We really liked it. We did. Our server was Matthew. He was very attentive, just the right amount of service. And it's not real crowded. It's early in the evening at Holstein's. Good time to enjoy a burger at our leisure. This was terrific. All right. Uh, I don't know where we're going next, but we'll it's show you. It's an adventure. It's an adventure. All right, my friends, we are winding down. Just one more to round out our best burger six-pack. Today, I find myself in the park heading for Shake Shack. Shake Shack is another of those must-dos when you talk about burgers on the Las Vegas Strip, and this one has to win the prize for the best location. Right here at the northwest corner of New York, New York, you can't even count how many hungry tourists pass by here every single day. On this outing, I get to do the honors of the burger tasting, so come with me, let's head inside and check out the menu board for our options. I ordered myself a Shack Burger Hold the Mail, and get this, the fellow taking my order like my cowboy hat so much, the drink was on the house. Shake Shack started life as a fundraising hot dog cart in Madison Square Park, New York City. So this location, situated in the park at New York, New York, is a perfect throwback to their roots. It opened in 2014 and has the great good fortune of being right here near the T-Mobile Arena, home to our Vegas Golden Knights. In fact, there is a special VGK burger on the menu available only here. Now here's a fun fact, the dining tables are made from reclaimed bowling lanes sourced from back in New York. All right, my friends, we started this whole thing off with Paula by herself having a hamburger, and we're going to end it all with me by myself having a hamburger on the strip. I'm at the Shake Shack, and this is episode number six of eating our hamburgers, and I got your regular shake burger, I think they call it, except I didn't get it with cheese, and I didn't get it with mayo, and I also didn't get it with, uh, with french fries. You want to know why? Because we've been doing so many of these, I'm getting fat again, and I don't want to eat no more fries. Look at that. I asked for extra pickles and, uh, uh, and no mayo, and it looks absolutely fabulous. I can't wait to bite into it. Get ready. Here we go. This one is going to I'm not going to cut it in half. Okay, that's one good burger. That is one amazing burger. Pickles unbelievable. Again, nice fresh bun i think that's a thing here in las vegas you get a nice fresh bun this is a handmade patty you know why i know because you can tell the way it's formed inside of the bun absolutely fantastic let me take another bite on this this is gonna be hard to judge all these so far i have two of my favorites I'm very happy with this choice. I'll tell you, the hamburger was really great until 
I got to towards the end, and then I discovered that they did not uh, uh, take the mayo off. They put the mayo on. But that's okay, because I didn't finish the last part of it because it was soaked in mayo. I don't like mayo, but that hamburger was terrific. I love a handmade burger. I love a nice, very, very fresh bun. And I made a mistake when I did this, too. <laughs> I poured in a little bit of Diet Coke, and then I poured in Sprite on the end. You know what? It's a good flavor. I think I discovered it. This is called the Durango Pop now. <laughs> I think it's that good. Anyway, we're going to come back, Paul and I, and we're going to wrap this whole thing up and tell you what we thought about all the burgers. All right, I know you're going to say, what was your favorite and what do you recommend? <laughs> <laughs> that is so hard. I will just say... They were all delicious. Yeah, honestly. In their own way. Let, let me just say that those are six of our favorite hamburger places that we go to. And yeah. they show up yeah. on almost every list when you when you put in a search engine, you know, best burgers in Vegas. All right. of these pop up. Right. Yeah. But if you force me to pick my very favorite burger, just the burger, Gordon Ramsay, it was incredible. I didn't get to and taste you didn't that get one. To taste I didn't that get one. to taste that one. My favorite experience overall, which is the burger, the fries, the ambiance, was Holstein's. I love Holstein's. Yeah, Holstein's is a great place. So, my favorite burger, you're probably going to laugh, you're probably going to say you're crazy, McDonald's. No. Uh, <laughs> no. What? No. My favorite burger was Bobby Flay's. I'm not kidding you. I absolutely love that burger. I chowed it down, and that was after having a burger prior to that. At you're right. That is an yeah. excellent burger. And those Bobby's fries were fabulous. Yeah. yeah. And again, like she said, Holstein's, boy, what a nice place to go to. And honestly, they're all great hamburgers. Yeah, Black Tap, delicious. And of yeah. course, you're looking at, you don't want to spend a lot of money, take, take yourself down to In-N-Out Burger. Or Shake Shack. Or Shake Shack, yeah. yeah. I, I love the Shake Shack because, you know, it was sort of my little deal. And it was a hand-formed burger, yeah. and he gave you a free pop. He did give me a free pop, <laughs> and only because I had a cowboy hat. He, you know what he told me? He said, you know what? I love your cowboy hat. You look just like my dad because he wears a cowboy hat That's all exactly the time. That's exactly what he said. That's yeah. what he said. Yeah. That's right. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We know this was a long one, but yum, yum, yum. It was all good food. <laughs> all right. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button. Anything else you want to tell these nice people, Miss Paul? Honestly, let us know in the comments what is your favorite on the strip. I'm sure you all have one, and I would be really interested to read. Hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye-bye, everybody.